Steam users spend billions and billions on games they never play. The Dr. Disrespect drama explodes across the internet and the fan-made Avatar project that looks infinitely better than any official game. I'm Ash Dixon and this is Jinx News. We've all got those books on our shelves we've never read, those movies we've bought and never watched, and that kitchen appliance we used once during lockdown that now sits in the cupboard gathering dust. And it turns out we all have games in our Steam library we've never played. In fact, there's a lot of them. According to research conducted by PC Games N and Steam ID Finder, Steam users have collectively got unplayed games in their libraries totaling $19 billion. That's right, we've spent more on unplayed Steam games than the entire GDP of Moldova. Research looked at the libraries of every public Steam account, which is around 10% of the total, and found that the unplayed games in those accounts hit around $1.9 billion. Times that by 10 and you get the astronomical figure of 19 billion. Trying to conceive just how many video games that is seems impossible. Even if every one of those games was a brand new $70 release, which they very much won't be, that would mean over 270 million unplayed games. If you want to find out for yourself just how much money you've spent or wasted, they also provide a little widget called the Pile of Shame, where you can input your own Steam ID and then you can think twice about your future purchasing decisions. I'd give it a go myself, but I'm genuinely too scared. So, it's food for thought. Maybe rather than going to your millionth PUBG match or umpteenth Skyrim restart, maybe take a look through your unplayed catalogue and give one of those bad boys a go. And while you're at it, you should also check out our Patreon, Jinx Plus, as well. You can try it for free for seven days, which, fun fact, is less than $19 billion. It comes with our whole back catalogue of shows, exclusive episodes, and votes on the content that we make. You can even afford to give it a go in Moldova. Buckle up, everyone. This one isn't exactly fun. Dr. Disrespect has finally admitted why he was banned from Twitch. He was sending inappropriate messages to a minor. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, and the last 24 hours have been pretty wild, so let's start from the top. If you're into gaming, you've probably heard of Dr. Disrespect, which is the online moniker of Guy Beam. Before 2020, he was one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, known for his villain-like persona, which essentially involved him screaming at shooter games while wearing a ridiculous wig and shades indoors. He gained over 4 million followers, landed sponsorship deals with big brands, and even had an animated TV show in the works. And then suddenly, in June 2020, just three months after signing a multi-year deal thought to be worth millions of dollars, Dr. Disrespect disappeared from Twitch. He said he had no idea why he'd been banned, while Twitch simply said he broke their community guidelines. Of course, people speculated all sorts of things, but with little information, some weeks passed and Dr. Disrespect made the move to YouTube. And while he continued to thrive there, the Twitch fiasco bubbled in the background, with Dr. Disrespect stating in August 2021 that he now knew why he was banned, though he never really specified what that was, and that he was suing Twitch. And then in March 2022, clearly trying to put it all behind him, he announced that he and Twitch had resolved their legal dispute with neither party admitting any wrongdoing. Well, he pressed on breaking it in on YouTube, landing partnerships with companies like Turtle Beach, and even founding a AAA gaming studio called Midnight Society. Well, this week, everything came crashing down. A former Twitch employee told The Verge that Beam had used Whispers, Twitch's now defunct messaging system, to exchange messages with a minor and proposed meeting up with them at TwitchCon. Soon after, a second former Twitch employee, Cody Connors, corroborated the accusations, tweeting out he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. And as is the case when celebrities form a cult of personality, a lot of people just couldn't accept that their poor millionaire daddy disrespect could do wrong. They were left with egg on their face though when his own studio dropped him, citing that they had assumed innocence, conducted an investigation, and decided to part ways, which doesn't look great. And then Turtle Beach quietly dropped 
him too. Yet still, people doubled down and refused to believe the allegations, which was rather awkward when just yesterday, Dr. Disrespect dropped his own massive statement, including the line, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. He then went on to say, these were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. And while the full statement is a lot longer than that, that pretty much wraps up the vibe of the tweet. He apologizes and says he's always willing to take responsibility before downplaying what he did and doing the opposite of taking responsibility. He cries that nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. But man, it really feels like that's the case because you got caught before any of that could happen. And yeah, in some states, it would have been completely legal for him to play out his little TwitchCon fantasy. But I don't need the law to decide that a married man in his mid-30s sleeping with a minor is f***ing disgusting. He then insinuates that the people who criticise him are haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience. Okay, buddy. Either way, he claims to not be going anywhere and after an extended vacation with his family, intends to come back to streaming. And it seems he will have an audience because a rather depressing amount of people still support him. And man, dare I say it, what do you think? Were you previously a fan of Dr. Disrespect? How are you feeling about all the revelations? Let us know down in the comments. Right, I think we can all agree it is now time for a rather lighthearted, extremely pacey, quick fire round. First up, a creator called Alka Gaming has shown off some prototype footage for their fan-made Avatar The Last Airbender game and boy, does it look spicy. Because let's be honest, between the movie and the Netflix show and the awful official games, the franchise could use something good right now. The project has been in development for a few years now and I cannot wait to see it when it's finished. Next up, yes, Shadow of the Erdtree is brutal, but don't worry, in one dungeon you come across a calm stone golem gently petting a lava slime. How cute. Just don't expect them to be so gentle with you. Hey, that's rude, you're not supposed to notice me. No, you can't do that as well, that's mean. That's two types of mean. And last up, Hideo Kojima tweeted this. Need I say more? Hit those like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you on Friday.